There is a tunnel, and machinery inside that tunnel sends beams of energy in a vast circle. The particle accelerator altered the weight of one electron and therefore sh destroyed our universe and shifted us into the universe that's directly next to it, and therefore things are different in this universe. It's easy to be overwhelmed by the grandeur of the cosmos if you take the time to really look at what's going on. Science has just scratched the surface of reality, and nature's discoveries are far more stunning than anybody could have predicted. There is proof of free energy, unified field of consciousness, superhuman ability, parallel reality, and much more. So much that no one would assume a child could grasp it all. At the same time, one of the world's brightest kids has proposed some thoughts regarding CERN's capabilities and how scientists have exploited it to open a doorway to another realm. What arguments did this young genius put up, and how was the machine employed to create a new portal? Join us as we investigate how the world's smartest child genius stated that some physicists and the Large Hadron Collider created a portal. Who do you seek life guidance from? Will the views of a child suffice? No? What if the kid understands far more than you do about what's going on? And we are not referring about what's going on at school or in the country. Think universal. The potential of children should not be overlooked. This world is full of brilliant young individuals. There are children such as Malala Yousafzai who accomplish incredible work and receive international recognition for their inspiring activities. At the age of 21, Elizabeth Nance worked at John Hopkins to create nanoparticles that could penetrate brain tissue. Brilliance has no age limit, and exceptionally remarkable ideas are frequently recognised. Then there are children like Max Laughlin. Max's idea regarding the Large Hadron Collider has sparked concern among experts all around the world. The young and genius kid was first recognised for mesmerising the globe with his insights about how the world works and how humans adapt to each new event uncovered in our universe. His new beliefs, on the other hand, are not simply facts, they are warnings. The young prodigy recorded videos where he elaborated on his assertions and the portal that CERN researchers opened. For those who are unaware, he is also an inventor, having created a free energy machine at the age of 13. He displayed this technology and explained how the free energy device may change the way humans live all around the planet. Since then, he has been well known for his astute observations of fascinating events in our universe. These subjects are concerning our reality and the parallel universe. Some of his hypotheses about our world include how CERN experiments are threatening to break the fabric of our existence and move us to a parallel reality that is more comparable to ours. The idea cannot be challenged because this is not the first time European Organisation for Nuclear Research scientists have undertaken similar tests. The Large Hadron Collider, a machine that splits up subatomic particles, is used for these tests. The machine is used to simulate the Big Bang. He argued that the experiments performed by this machine may have shattered the universe, causing humanity to exist in a parallel reality. Max went on to explain that there are an endless number of parallel universes in our multiverse. Similarly, there are an endless number of these universes. In each reality, we are hurled into an endless number of parallel realities. He said, we had an original timeline, but immediately the anomaly occurred during the experiment, we were infinitely catapulted into an infinite number of parallel universes. As we talk, a reality switches into another universe somewhere along the way. This representation of limitless universes is our current reality. It's likely that CERN scientists noticed this abnormality in the space-time continuum. They went in and modified these classic events after discovering the anomaly, proving reality is not what we think it is. This idea backs up reports that the European Organisation for Nuclear Research is working on creating portals and making alterations to connect the universe. Max followed his argument by claiming that these notions about opening portals at CERN imply that we have other universes adjacent to us, and he related this to his idea of the Mandela effect. It also recounts how the particle accelerator changed one electron, shattering our reality and transporting us to another one. According to Max Laughlin, the Large Hadron Collider is the device that led humankind to move into a new universe. The European Organisation for Nuclear Research built the world's most powerful particle accelerator within a 17-mile tunnel holding the huge electron-positron collider. 
It is a circular tunnel lying approximately 165 to 575 feet below near the French and Swiss borders. The Large Hadron Collider is designed to smash two particle beams and then study the effects. When the collision is complete, scientists see the atoms and molecules, as well as the outcomes produced by physics. Aside from Laughlin's theory, the Large Hadron Collider has been thought to be a destroyer since Bill Clinton's presidency. When the Large Hadron Collider was still in the design stages, numerous experts predicted that it would generate a black hole, devouring our world. These concerns motivated Francesco Calagero, a nuclear physicist at the University of Rome and co-winner of the Nobel Peace Prize in 1995, to publish an article titled Might a Laboratory Experiment Destroy Planet Earth? in 2000. The essay sparked a series of never-ending debates that lasted for years. These debates centred on whether or not the Large Hadron Collider would destroy our world. The article was widely discussed and even appeared on John Oliver's Daily Show in 2009. On the episode, John interviewed a physics professor who said that the experiment had a 1 in 2 probability of producing a strong black hole capable of destroying Earth. By interviewing experts at CERN working on the Large Hadron Collider project, John Oliver validated these facts. The scientists then refuted the physics professor's assertions, stating that the Large Hadron Collider was not designed to be a doomsday machine, but rather for in-depth scientific investigation. When asked about the Mandela effect, Max stated that he believes it exists. The Mandela effect occurs when a significant number of individuals believe a specific event occurred when it did not, which is why the little genius's theory appears to be genuine. Fiona Broom coined the phrase Mandela Effect in 2009 and she built a website to describe her experiences with the phenomena. Broom was at a conference speaking with others about her memories of Nelson Mandela's death in the 1980s. Despite the fact that the former South African president did not die in prison in the 1980s, he died in 2013. However, when Broom spoke with others about her recollections of Nelson Mandela's death, she learned she was not alone. Several individuals also remembered watching television coverage of his death, including a speech given by his widow. Broom was taken aback by this development, as many individuals remembered the same incident in such vivid detail although it had never occurred. That appears to be the Mandela effect, and it also supports Max Laughlin's hypothesis that we are living in an alternative extension of our universe. The Large Hadron Collider is used by scientists to verify theoretical predictions in particle physics, particularly those linked to the Standard Model. Although the Standard Model can describe practically all events and particle physics, some occurrences remain unexplained. Since its completion in 2008, the Large Hadron Collider has had two successful runs. The first run lasted from 2010 to 2013, and the second from 2015 to 2018. These two runs each featured their own set of discoveries, world records and accomplishments. However, there are still unanswered questions concerning dark matter. Most stuff in space is normally invisible to humans, but because the gravitational presence of dark matter has been detected, scientists believe it exists. According to scientists, dark matter is the unseen cosmic structure that keeps galaxy clusters and galaxies together. We still don't know what it is, making it one of scientists' most intriguing mysteries. One of the reasons the Large Hadron Collider was built was to find an answer. When the collider was powered up for the first time in 2010, physicists had optimism that answers would emerge, but aside from the Higgs discovery, nothing else was seen. It was expected that there would be at least one particle that would explain the makeup of dark matter. However, there was no additional discovery. The Large Hadron Collider was shut down after its second run in 2018 to enhance maintenance. It reopened on April 22, 2022 after a three-year period of repair and upgrades. The third run was accomplished on July 5th, a day after the 10th anniversary of the discovery of the Higgs boson. Another significant event occurred in January of this year, when scientists at CERN reported the discovery of X particles. Given their mysterious makeup, X particles have been given the appropriate name. They were identified for the first time among billions of other particles inside the Large Hadron Collider's quark gluon plasma. Scientists traced the birth of X particles back to a few millionths of a second after the Big Bang, when the cosmos was nothing more than an enormously hot trillion degree plasma soup packed with quarks and gluons. 
These are elementary particles that cool and unite to become the more stable protons and neutrons we know today. A minuscule proportion of the quarks and gluons unite prior to cooling that generate an extremely short-lived X particle. The researchers are baffled as to how elementary particles interact to generate the X particle structure. Scientists would have a better understanding of the sorts of particles that adorned the Earth's surface during the universe's early moments if they could figure out the particle's composition process. CERN researchers then recreated the findings of these X-particles by shooting positively charged lead atoms at high speeds at one another. This process caused them to collide, releasing additional particles in a brief burst of plasma reminiscent of the universe's early days. But that was only the easy part. The tricky aspect was searching through 13 billion head-on ion collisions for the X-particles. The Large Hadron Collider is set to remain operational until 2025, after which it will be shut off for another two years to allow for more modifications and new installations. According to CERN scientists, the dream scenario would be the LHC ultimately unveiling the mysterious nature of dark matter, which makes up most of the known universe, but cannot be observed directly with ordinary instruments since correct measurements of dark matter are important in forecasting the expansion of the universe. Now let's hear your thoughts about CERN and its activities in the comments below.